Welcome. In this video, we are going to talk about how to get uh, code completion in VS Code using the AWS Photo 3 extension. Um, so when you are starting to work with Photo 3, there is a lot of um, functions, methods that uh, you have access to. Um, basically, all the commands available in AWS CLI are available through uh, Photo 3. But you're going to run into an issue where once you create your client or your resource, you don't get code completion. Um, so in this case, I already have it set up. So you can see, like I start typing lists and I can see all the different options. Um, if I do list buckets, perfect. Uh, if I switch to a virtual or just a regular Python interpreter where I don't have photo installed and I start doing this, you'll see I don't, I don't get that option. Um, and so the way to get this, to work um, is you would install this AWS Bodo 3 extension. Once you have that, you would go to your project and come up here and you would uh, show run commands. And then you could uh, start typing AWS Bodo 3. And you want to do this auto discover Bodo 3 services in current project. And what that'll do is it'll look at the code. And it'll let you select, but it'll also, it should already highlight the options that are in your code. So because I have S3 code in here, it has Boto3 and S3. So I click OK. Um, and if it's your first time going through it, it'll actually also ask you which installer you want to use. You can either select PIP or you can select Poetry. Because we're using Poetry, we're, we, we want to keep that. Um, and the cool thing with that is it will actually add it into your pyproject.toml. And one thing to note is normally it would just go ahead and add it to your, uh, your pyproject.toml and install it. But because I have my development group set to optional, it's not going to install correctly. So what you actually need to do is you need to go poetry install with dev. And that will take care of, as you can see, I already have everything. So there's nothing for me to add. Um, but it will install that Boto 3 stubs for me. Um, and if I was to add code to my project and use other services, I would have to do that for those steps. Um, so you could either just not have the uh, optional set to true here, um, or you would just have to remember when you added a service via the uh, service selection, you would have to do this poetry install with dev. Um, but once you do that, you're able to get your code completion. And the nice thing is it's code completion as well as it'll list all the, the arguments that you would need for those functions. Um, and it also gives you quick links to those uh, documentation pieces. So as you can see, here's the list buckets. So I hope you find that helpful.